My friends would love that kind of shit. So I just graduated college as a software engineer and I thought what better way to flex my software engineering degree than to make a cup that tases you and make it multiplayer. So some of you may be asking how ethical is this to do, especially if you just got your degree in software engineering. You should never tase your friends. You like, even if they want you to, you shouldn't. But I'm going to anyways, because it's funny. God, this is fucked. But let me set the scene first. Let's say you're out drinking with the boys and your best bud comes up to you and is like, I bet I could chug this beer faster than you. So you guys play and you're chugging and you end up being the winner. But are you actually the winner? You, you just downed a whole entire beer while your buddy chickened out halfway through, and if anything, you're the loser, depending on how you look at it, depending if you want to be more drunk or not. But there's no like repercussion for him losing. He just challenged you, and there's no gotcha moment. The Taser Cup multiplayer will add that challenge to not get, you know. So with the contestants lined up and everything ready to go, let's get started building the cup. And to start off, we will use exactly what Michael used in his video which is this E-tape liquid measure sensor. And for those who haven't seen Michael's video, which I encourage you to do because he probably explains this a lot better than I do, all the liquid measure sensor does is put data onto the Arduino, which then we will use for the cups. That's how they're gonna talk. I mean, come on, it's multiplayer taser cup, people. All we'll do is slide it into the bottom of a shaker cup or blender bottle, whatever the fuck you wanna call these, and it, is like basically the perfect size. But Jason, how is it different than Michael Reeves cup? You just said you basically took his sensor. Well, for that one person that asked, because why the fuck do you care? Uh, I, I'll show you, I'll just, we'll, we'll, I'll show you. I'll show you on a whiteboard. So the difference between mine and Michael's is the, this is a Michael schematic that I'm guessing this is what he did because I'm going off a YouTube video of him doing it. So basically he has his Nano going here, and then he also has a Raspberry Pi going there, and then the Raspberry Pi goes here to host a website to the router. But basically when it goes back, to, when it gets to the router, it would then send a, a signal back to the Raspberry Pi, and then this would also send a signal back to the, this is the cup, and then this also sends it back to the Nano, which would then trigger off the relay, which is right here, and it would then make, it would, it would electrocute you. That's the goal. I didn't like this, I didn't like this all going back and forth. I just wanted the, the cup, I need the cup to just talk to itself. So with that, we have this new design that I came up with, which is rat shit, but it works. This, it's just the two cups this time. No more router, none of that bullshit in between, man. But it, it's not that simple. There's two chips on each one. There's there's a Nano 1 and a Nano 2, Nano 1, Nano 2. Whatever, it's 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 garbage. I wanted to get just one chip on each cup, but I couldn't get bi-directional communication to work with these Nanos, and I tried literally everything. So I thought, big, big brain move. Just just don't fuck, use fucking four. Use four Nano chips when you, could only, when you only need two, but use four. Chip one is going to talk to chip two over here and feed it data that will then send off the relay if they lose and then go up here, you know, it's, it's that, that's all it does. And then this chip over here will send data over here back to this chip to say, hey, if this cup wins or loses, you know, it's it, it just the, the two-way communication. The, it just, it's, it's rat shit, I know. I know it's bad, but bear with me. I'm trying to make two cups talk to each other, but this is shit. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna say this is probably the best way to do it without using a web server and a Raspberry Pi, so. So now that we have what we're gonna make, the build should be super easy now. All we have to do is first we have to 3D model and then print some housing for all the electronic components. After that, we make sure the right code is on each Arduino, one being the receiver code and one being the transmitter code. We then get the rest of our electronical components and then we grab our shitty little case that will be housing all these and we start slapping them together. I started with putting the hardware on first and then after that I'll be wiring up everything afterwards. I then put the taser on the bottom of the cup because it just seemed like it's the best fitting spot for it and I had to make sure the wires from the taser didn't touch while doing this. They actually went off once and it actually really scared me but regardless. After the taser we then put on the battery pack which will be powering the nanos. 
Before we can wire up the sensor, I needed to flex seal the sensor so that it wouldn't move and the alcohol won't leak out from the bottom. After that dries off, all we have to do is connect the alligator pins to the tin foil put on the cup, and then after that, all we have to do is finish up any loose wiring that still hasn't been done yet, and then voila, you got yourself a very nice taser cup. Now time to do it all again for the second one. After a few hours of pain and a montage I ripped off from Michael, we have these. Look like, look at them. They're, they look like bombs. They, they, these are not what you should, like, why did I make these? But anyways, we made it this far, so uh, I will show you how they work. So how the game works is pretty simple. You just have the two cups, and then you fill both cups up with your desired drink of choice, probably going to be beer. So then you plug in the receivers because I could not be fucked to program a loop where it wouldn't go off if it was empty at the start. Oops. So with both cups on, and I should put the lid on this one, so I, I will demonstrate that when this cup is empty, now it will, uh, it will uh, send a signal to this cup to uh, set it off. To tase you. It's a little slow. It, it might not work 100% of the time, more like 30% of the time, but does, does that really matter? You guys just wanna see people get electrocuted. But with all this, I think we're finally ready to go use it on my friends. So what you saw was recorded about five months ago now. After I got the cups done, I texted my friends, hey, the cups are done, let's go use them. But as soon as they saw them, they decided that they didn't necessarily want to do it anymore, which I don't blame them because the cups look like bombs and getting electrocuted is not the most fun thing in the world. So with that, I decided to release this video anyways, leading up to the point, just because I put a lot of effort into it and I didn't want the footage to go unused and I didn't want the project to just be canceled. And also huge shout outs to Michael Reeves, Anything for Views, and Max Mofo and the Cold Ones podcast for making the whole original idea of the taser cup and then I went ahead and made the multiplayer one. But yeah, if you like what you saw, consider subscribing. It's free, it's nice. It lets me know that people enjoy what I'm making and hopefully in the future I actually finish projects when I start them and I don't get kind of stuck halfway through making them. But yeah, but with that, expect more projects in the future, hopefully ones that don't involve tasing and I'll see you guys next time.